how we would go about building it in logic. Now this is quite a tedious task but I'm going to show you the processes. If you want to skip that and just play around with the concept idea I've got here you can download that for free from the link below. So the way that we would do it is very very simple. There's a couple of other aspects I've got going on but let's start with the real basics. I'm going to mute this guy out and let's just make ourselves a brand new instrument and on here we can just put something super super basic. The retro synth, uh, just pop that onto FM, bring the FM right down and make it a nice quick sharp sound like so. Now what we need is a scale. I just very simply did C major pentatonic. Whatever scale it is you want to use, however deep you want to go in with the notes as well. Now while we're putting the first scale in, you see the notes moving all over the place? We need to lock these in right on point. So make sure your snap up here is set to something like bar and that way we can very easily go and just tap everything in and it's going to lock right in for us. And back round to C4 there look. So that gives us a nice little, doesn't it? We just copy that up, say one, like so. We've now got lovely. Now to make this easier to see, I'm going to use this little guy right here. Boop. And that just isolates only the notes that we're using. Now if we play this, uh, look like this most horrendous chord sound in history. The way that I got the initial ticks and the initial sweep that you hear right at the start was using the flam setting. Super, super simple thing to do. So let's just do that. So if we select our notes or just have the region selected in the inspector over here on the left hand side, if you can't see that, just press I, that's going to pop up for you. We need to make sure we've got this more drop down menu drop down for us. And well, currently we can't access anything. What we need to do is set ourselves a quantized value. It can literally be anything in this case, but let's do one over 64. And now we can use the flam. If we pull the flam down, you can see we're going to be able to tick those notes across. Now if we make that so it ticks, say one over four, which is 34 ticks, we're going to get this. You can take this to whatever value you want to do it. If we do it so it goes one half, which is going to be 137 ticks. We've then got the initial progress of what we need to do. If we have a look at that in terms of one bar look, colors basically half a bar with the length of the notes. Now we need to make it so each one of these moves along in a sequence and that we use the note length as part of that sequence and the gap at the start of each tick. And that is how we're going to build out the polyrhythm. One thing you're going to need to do here, because Logic doesn't have this defined, unless you want to click navigate about 7,000 times, because we need to do navigate, go to right locator. And as you can see, I've set mine to command an L, which is uh, to assign a new controller from a MIDI controller, which is a command I don't think I've used in the last 10 years. So I overwrote that for this instance. To do that for yourself, click on Logic Pro, go to key commands, go into edit assignments, type in right lock, you're going to do go to right locator, and in your key command up here, type in whatever you want it to be. I use command L because it's a key command that I have never needed to use. What that allows me to do is wherever my playhead is, whatever loop I've got, command L will snap it to the end of that playhead. That's going to be important shortly. Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. They let me get my music out to all of the major distributors and they do that at a price an independent artist can easily afford. If you're ready to get your music or beats out there and want to release an unlimited amount of music each year, check the link in the description below for a discount off of your first year of unlimited distribution with DistroKid. The next thing we need to do is take our snap in here that we set to bar a minute ago and put that onto ticks. Ticks is the most in depth we can go into in logic. Otherwise you're gonna be working in individual of say 64 and your polyrhythm is not going to be as detailed. So what we need to do from here is duplicate our note that we're going to have repeat on the beat. In the example here I did it as the very top note but you could have it be the middle one and everything else polyrhythms off that. If you've got say a fundamental note say you're working in F and you want it to <clears throat> If you've got a fundamental note, say you're working in G and you want the G to always land on the rhythm, do it with the G and make that the fundamental that lands on the floor on the floor. I'm just going to do it with B. Once that is selected up here, if we go into edit, we can go to repeat multiple and let's have it repeat a grand total of 64 times. You might want to go longer, you might want to go shorter, all depends on what you want to build out. And then we could do it so it lands on the beat or on the division. If we do it on the beat, we can do okay 
repeat 64 times. There we are, it's landing on the beat. <laughs> Now we need to get our loop here so it has this gap in it each individual time. Simple way to do this the first time is go back into your transport over here and we want to extend our track here. We can actually grab here and we can add ourselves bar on the start here, look, just by taking this little icon here and we can drag that back one bar. We've now got zero into the first bar. Now that shows up for us in here. So we've got from bar zero into bar one. What we want to do now is highlight and include all the way up to the start of this note. Now a little test for you when we're scrolling, look, that it's all white uh, and then it goes yellow and it goes yellow when it's exactly on a note. So like that there is going to be exactly what we need. Then we want to make use of a couple of key commands. If we right click on the bar up here, we can see move locators forward by cycle length and that's going to be shift command and our dot. We need copy which is command and C, we need paste which is command and V and we need our new one which is command and L. So what we're going to do is go shift command dot and that's going to move our locators along as you can see like so. We want command C to copy our note, command L to bring our locator to the end here and command V to paste our note in. And there we are, that's pasted our note in the one bar and one bit over. So now we would have. Now the example I'm doing here works over bars, but the other one that I've built in the project file, we've done that per quarter notes. So it's gonna be a different type of polyrhythm in the end. So we would now repeat that process over and over until we've come to the end of what we want. So it's a case of pressing shift command, full stop, command L, command V, shift command, full stop, command L, command V, over and over until we've filled up the whole process of what we want to do. As you're doing this, you should notice the gaps between the notes start to drift out of time. That is an indication that you're doing exactly the right thing and that the gap should be getting bigger and bigger but as you go along, they'll start to then come back round on one another. Once you've done that, you'll have something that looks like this, where we start with the flam that we initially built and it grows and grows and grows and grows. Now the 4-4 pattern doesn't really work with this, so I'm going to scrap that entirely. But what I can do instead is have it just so it repeats each bar. So then we've got that selected, edit, repeat, multiple, 64, bar. Boom, job done. I should have done my maths, 64 was far too much. One nice thing about logic is we've done this over one bar at the 126 tempo. If we reduce that down to eight, we'll actually just get double the tempo. Can reduce it to a quarter even. Loop it over the 16. Now what I did in the initial one, which we hear here, is I've done some extra voodoo to really kind of destroy your mind on what's going on with it. <clears throat> the very first thing is this stereo delay just here. It sets quarter notes both left and right but there's variation. There's a deviation of minus 0.67% on the left and plus 33% on the right. So that actually staggers the notes in so that actually staggers the notes in the left and right reflections as well. Just with a pretty subtle mix. So on our new one this will go and creates another layer in those polyrhythms. The other thing that brings it all together is just giving it its own space with a bit of reverb.
And I'd maybe play around with making the note really, really short too. Something like this. And the more notes and the different rhythms that you play with, the more complex it's going to get, but also the longer it's going to take to find a position that's going to loop for you time and time again. I really hope that's been helpful and look forward to seeing you in future tutorials. Take care.